This is Bennett Tomlin with Scientific Nutrition, and today we're making bacon and eggs. So I just dropped the bacon in here. Now what I like to do is I like to start it off on um, like low medium heat, just to help render out some of the fat first. Because once we get some of the fat out of it, we can crank the heat up, we fry the bacon in its own fat, then we're going to cook scrambled eggs in the bacon grease. Now the bacon grease really helps add flavor to the eggs. And despite all the fear mongering about saturated fat and cholesterol, the studies suggest that there is no harm in eating them. So I'm just gonna let these cook for a couple minutes on medium low heat to render out some of the fat. And during this time, I'm going to pre scramble my eggs. Okay, scrambled eggs are one of the easiest dishes you can make. And one of the best things about it for a college student like me is that it's incredibly cheap. Each egg costs, I just bought some today, about six cents a piece after taxes. So for less than 20 cents, you can make three eggs, basically. Now, I'm cracking them on the counter down here because when you crack an egg on the counter, you're less likely to drive pieces of the eggshell up into it, so you get them nice and cleaner in here, okay? Now, what I like to do, because it helps make your eggs a little bit fluffier, is to add just a little bit of water to it, about a tablespoon per egg. Now, by doing this, the water evaporates while they're cooking and helps make the eggs a lot fluffier. Okay, now we just take a fork, break up the yolks, and just scramble the eggs. We want to get everything distributed with a nice, even consistency. Some people try to scramble their eggs in the pan, but when you try to scramble your eggs in the pan, you don't normally get everything distributed as well as possible. So I like to scramble them out here first. I find it gives me much better eggs. Okay, so we've rendered out some of the fat for the bacon now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip all my pieces of bacon to make sure they don't burn. And then after I'm done flipping them, I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. So now we've got the fat for them to cook in. They'll cook better with a little bit of heat. Okay, up to like high medium heat. You're going to keep turning them over to prevent burning. How long you cook it for it ends up becoming kind of a matter of personal preference. These are starting to get close to how I want them. I like them really crispy, so I have them on basically high heat now. Just got to keep flipping them to make sure they don't burn. And wait for them to crisp up a little bit in their own fat. One of the reasons I love making bacon and eggs for breakfast is it's high in protein and high in fat. So it helps satiate you. You're not as hungry as early. You don't need a mid-morning snack. You don't need um, a huge lunch. It helps fill you up more than like a bowl of cereal would. Plus, for a college student, it works out cheaper than like a bowl of cereal. Because like I'm using four slices of bacon here. It's about four ounces of bacon, which equates to about, about a dollar worth of meat. Plus about 20 cents worth of eggs. So let's round up and say $1.25 for this breakfast. That's going to be much cheaper than a bowl of cereal with milk. Plus, it'll keep you full for longer. Okay, these are just about done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this, pull these out, and set them on my plate. Now comes the fun part. We turn the heat down to like medium. Take our pre-mixed eggs and pour them just directly into the bacon grease. Bacon grease is nice and hot. Since we're doing scrambled, we just move them around the pan. Keep them moving so they don't get stuck. The bacon grease helps add flavor and it cooks them up really nice and quick. Okay, and the eggs are just about ready. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on them today. You can use different seasonings if you want. You can add, throw some cheese over it, add some extra protein in there, whatever you want. I'm just feeling simple eggs with salt and pepper today. Just finish cooking. Serve them up. If you don't, if you want to make bacon but not the eggs, you can save bacon grease safely for an extended period of time and it's a great simple way to add flavor to whatever dish you're cooking. And here we go, finished product. 
Simple, easy, cheap, and filling. It's the perfect meal for a college student.